This is an exciting night, okay? I know this is Bible class, and yes, we're having Bible class, but this is a special Bible class night, all right? God has given me a special topic to teach, and but we're going to start in a different way. Now, we always do start with music, but this is a special worship night, okay? Now, the two songs that I want to use, actually, I'm, I'm so excited, I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't prayed yet, okay? So, son... I'm going to ask you while you're standing there, if you would come forward, and you're going to open in prayer for us, and then I'm going to tell everybody what we're going to do tonight. And I didn't even welcome you. That's how excited I am. Welcome to Devoted Ministry Church Wednesday night Bible class. Come on up, son, and, and uh, pray, and then we're going to have some excitement in the room. Hallelujah, right? Praise God. Yes. <laughs> Praise God. Yeah. Praise God. Yes. Praise God. Yes. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Praise God. Blessed be the name of the yes. Lord. Praise Hallelujah. God. Father God, bless your service, God. Bless your word. Yes, Lord. Bless the, ah, bless the things that you've ordained. They are blessed. The things that God has ordained are blessed. Yeah. <laughs> Praise God. And we thank you for that, Father God. We thank you. You've ordained this pastor so he's blessed. You've ordained this word so it is blessed. And we Amen. thank you for that. Amen. Bless your holy name. Praise you, God. Amen. Give us understanding ah, as you give us knowledge. Thank you, thank you, Father God. Bless your holy name. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Hi, right, Pam. So I'm, thinking, so I'm thinking that since you live in Florida now, you need to get rid of this, no, right? No <laughs> okay, so listen. This is what we're going to do. Now, we always have music before we start. Okay, but um, we're going to start. I want to say this. Devoted Ministry Church, we are on the precipice of something great in worship. God has given us music in this church. Young people, you know that, right? You know that. And I know, saints, you know that God has given us music. We've got much, much music to share among us for our own worship, but also to share with the world Praise to God. worship and honor God and Praise give him glory. God. All right. Praise now, um, that's about to begin. We're about to take our musical uh, worship Hallelujah. to another level. Hallelujah. So um, this by way of an, an announcement, actually. So very, very soon we're going to have that keyboard that we've been looking Praise forward God. to purchasing. Praise and we're going to have it within, I don't know, maybe within days. Praise God. But as soon as it's here... Then I'm going to start, it's gonna, I'm going to have to go to YouTube University and learn how to use it. And uh, as soon as I learn how to operate the thing, um, we're gonna st music is going to start pouring out of this church. This tiny little church music is going to start pouring out of this church. All right, But we don't have that yet tonight. All right? So what I'm going to do, some of our songs we have with some of the, the Boston Choir's music, we're going to go ahead and play two of those songs, and we're going to worship God. I want everybody, I, listen, I know everybody's tired tonight. Guess what? I'm tired. I am. I'm so tired. And Tolliver, I can look in your eyes. You look tired, and you look tired, <laughs> young lady. But I want everybody to to. Hey, extend themselves let's yes, stand up yes. and let's worship god to this song this first song says i can't stop praising you and you yes. sing along y'all know these songs sing along with the with the recording okay all right go ahead uh young javier my deacon there get it let's get it going yes sir Hallelujah. oh yes sir i can't stop praising you jesus i can't stop praising you father Everybody, you stand up and you dance and wave your hands and praise the Lord and sing along. You can turn it up, Javier. Oh, yeah. Lord, have mercy on you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, y'all know this? Come on, sing it. I can't stop praising you. Oh, yeah. Come on up, son. I want to worship you in all that I do. I would be overwhelmed. There's going to be another lead singer, and that's all right. You sing over her. Sing with her.
to know. Y'all remember he told us that, right? Yes. He wants us to know. Not think. No. Not, Hallelujah. not guess. Yes. Not sometimes. Not maybe. Yes. Not if. Praise God. He praise, wants us praise, to know. Yes. Know. 
Praise you, God. Praise you. This one verse says, Know ye not that the Lord, he is God. Jesus. <laughs> Can you imagine that? The scriptures say, listen, in today's American English, you know what that means? That means, you don't, you mean to tell me you don't know that the Lord is God? You don't know that Jehovah is God? That's what that means when it says, Know ye not that the Lord, he is God? You don't know that Jehovah is God after all that he's done? Praise God. All right. I'm not preaching. That comes on. Praise God. That comes on Sunday. And I'm not preaching this Friday or Sunday. So. All right. Praise okay. God. So. On last Sunday, I started preaching about music. And I thought that was the sermon. But it turned out God had something else for me to say. So tonight he wants me to complete that. Praise but we're God. doing it as a lesson. And this is fitting devoted church because... Like I said, very soon we're going to have that keyboard and we're going to start producing all of the music that God has given us. Yep, so he wants us to have an understanding before that happens. So I want to start off by, I'm not going to repeat anything that I said on Sunday. I'm not going to repeat anything that I've already done. Uh, Deacon, would you please give me a little more volume on this microphone so that I won't have to stand close to it, okay? All right, praise the Lord. So, I'm going to start with this. Okay, it's a little too much. Thank you, you're doing a good job. The first thing I'm going to say is God loves music. And I want to tell you something. I want to tell you something. I've lost my microphone a little bit. Okay, listen. Oh, there goes Kenny. There is a surprise in this lesson. And I'm going to let you know when it is. You won't have to guess. But there is a big surprise. I got to tell you, even when I was studying, when I read the verse, I said, oh, my goodness. I don't remember ever reading that. There's a surprise in here. But God loves music. God loves music. Can somebody tell me why God loves music so? He does. Can you tell me why? Can you get? I have a thought. Maybe your thought might be different from mine. What is your thought? As, as to why God loves music. And those of you behind the light that I can't see, you just holler out if you have an answer because I can't see you. It exalts him. Uh, I love that. That's not my answer, but I love that one. It exalts him. That's a good one. That's not the one I have here on my notes. Music comes from the heart? Music comes from the heart. That's very true. And out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. Yeah, I was going there. yeah. So, but that's not what I have. Those are great. Anybody give one more chance? Anybody else? Why do you think God loves music, young people? Anybody in Boston, maybe? He what? For the music. He loves music to praise him. Yeah. So this is why I say, because music came from God. Do you know God created? Listen. All things were made by him. That doesn't just mean the things we can put our hands on, not just the tangible things. All things were made by him. Henry, I don't want you to run your mother out of the room today. I, I want her in here. <laughs> but listen, all things were made by him. Nothing existed before there was God. I mean, before God created it. I mean, excuse me. Somebody give me some scriptural support for that. Quote something as best you can, even if you can't say it correctly. The battle on a thousand hills. Belongs to God. Yeah. Give me something else. Say that again, sister. I missed what you said. Sorry. Okay. That's all right. All things were made by him. Music comes from God. It was made by him for him to glorify him. Yes. And you're right. You're on the right track. Remember the Bible says, without him was not anything made that was made. Nothing exists without God's cre being the creator. Nothing. Amen. So music was created by God. The devil didn't make up music. Did you know the devil, Tolliver, did you know the devil never created anything? The devil is not a creator. Somebody tell me, I want one of the adults to answer this one. What is he if he's not a creator? Copycat. He, ah, that's the word I was looking for. And the other word I was looking for, you started to say. Both of those words were in my mind. He's a copycat. Yes. It, it, wait, before you say that, sister, I love that. 
Give me some scriptural young people, adults. Give me scriptural backing for the devil is a copycat. I'll give you a hint. We've been talking about it a lot lately. It's in Isaiah. What did the devil say about himself in Isaiah 14? He said, I will be God. Did he say that, Tolliver? Like God. He said, I will be like the Most High. He knew he couldn't be God. Who can be God? What? There's no such thing. But he said, I'm going to be like God. So what? So if, Tolliver, if you want something to be like something else, what do you have to do? Copy it. You have to copy it. <clears throat> so, sister, you're absolutely right. The devil copied everything that God did, and he built his kingdom as a copycat Except there's one thing about his kingdom as opposed to God's kingdom. Anybody know what it is? Unholy. It is unholy. Yes, little Grayson. What is what's the difference? You can try it. Say it again. Did you say what did he say, Tommy? He said, God, that's fine. What do you think, son? It will be destroyed. No. It's the exact opposite you see so God is as as loving as God is that's how hateful the devil is as as pure as God is that's how dirty the devil is how filthy and you we could go on and on down a long list the devil is the exact opposite of God as beautiful as God is the devil is just that ugly all right so but you said another word how do we know that the devil uh, did not create music, son? What did you say? What word did you use? Thief. He's a thief. Tolliver. No, no, Jared. What does a thief do? Steal. He steals. Where did the devil get music? Well, not originally. We talked about that before. But what the music that he... Where did he get the power of music? He stole it. He stole it. He stole it. He didn't take it away from God. That's not what I mean when I said he stole. What I mean is he copied what God has done and he took what God gave him, what God, because we know we looked at it on Sunday and we've talked about it before. We know that God gave music to Lucifer and see, he didn't lose that when he was kicked out of heaven. He still has it, young people, but he uses it to destroy not to build, okay? Now, so, God loves music because all of those good reasons you said, but also because he created music. All right? Now, let's see what we have next. Music is a large part of worship. I want everybody to say that with me. Ready? Music is a large part of worship. Say it one more time. Music is a large part of worship. And the devil knows that. That's why he wants music in his kingdom too. Except he doesn't want music to worship God. He wants it to worship him. 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 So when people sing in the flesh. I don't care if they're singing. If they are saying Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. If they are in the flesh. Whose spirit is that? That they're operating in? The devil. The devil. Because the. Because flesh is of the devil, it's not of God. That flesh is the sinful nature. So we didn't get that from God. We got it from the devil. All right? So if I do anything in the flesh, I am not worshiping God. I'm worshiping the devil. The devil. So if I stand up and pretend that I'm worshiping God or even think, somehow I deceived myself. If I even think that I'm worshiping God, because I'm singing a gospel song or a Christian song, but I'm doing it in the flesh. I'm doing it out of out of flesh. I'm doing it in pride or vainglory or for any reason, anything that is not the Holy Spirit, then I am not worshiping God. I don't care if I'm singing Amazing Grace. Amen. I don't care if I'm singing Amazing Grace. I'll give you, I'll give you, I, I know I'm correct, <laughs> but I'll give you proof. 
just one example. I remember a person who used to sing in a gospel group. I know many people like this, actually, but I'm thinking of one person in particular. And this person used to sing in a gospel group. He was a, he was a lead singer, and he was very good because God gave him a gift. And he was well-known, and everybody used to love to hear him sing. But he used to smoke marijuana. He used to get high and then go to church and sing in his gospel group. And he used to sing all Jesus songs. And he used to jump up and shout when he used to sing. And when he jumped, he used to jump on one leg. And man, the church would go crazy. <laughs> the church would go bananas, as they say. And they would be clapping and everybody acting like the Holy Ghost is falling. Who was he worshiping? The devil. The devil. But wait, he was singing gospel music. He wasn't singing a, a Jackson 5 song. And the reason I say Jackson 5 because they were singing during those days. Still, I think, yeah. Anyway, he wasn't talking about, he wasn't singing a, a devil song, as we say. He was singing a gospel song. But you mean to tell me he still wasn't worshiping God? Because he wasn't doing it in God? Because he wasn't in God when he was doing that. He was in the flesh. He was in the flesh. In fact, he wasn't even saved. But even if he had been saved, he was in the flesh. And I could tell many stories like those because I grew up in that gospel music scene. Y'all know that. But I'm not going to tell any more stories. So the devil is a thief. He's a copycat. But God created music. He gave music to Lucifer. Now, what I want to do, I said music is a large part of worship. That's another reason God loves music. He created it for worship. He created music to worship him. Did you know that? God created music to worship him. <clears throat> Can you believe that? Think about that. That's why God created music. When God created music, there was no devil. There was no devil. He didn't create music to worship a devil. There was no devil. And he didn't create music for, for us to, for, actually when he created music, praise God, there was no earth yet. That was in heaven. That was in heaven. He didn't create music for, for there to be fun and games and concerts. They didn't have gospel concerts in heaven. No, gospel singers, he created music to worship him. So I'm going to read a lot of verses. I'm going to go fast because I, I have my mind on the time. I'm just going to, listen, studying this lesson, I don't know, there are hundreds of verses that support the, the things I'm going to say tonight. Hun, literally hundreds. Okay. Um, but I'm, I'm, I've got quite a few, but I'm going to read through them quickly just to show you how music is a large part of worship. Okay. Mo a lot of the verses are from the Psalms because remember what we said about Psalms on Sunday. I'm not going to go back over that. So Exodus 15, one, uh, junior pastor, please turn your Bible to first Samuel 16, 23. 1 Samuel 16, 23. Sister, do you have your Bible handy? Yes, sir. You will have 2 Samuel 6, 14. 2 Samuel 6, 14. Pastor, you'll have 1 Samuel 16, 23. Yeah, first, um, 2 Samuel is yours, sister. 6, 14. So I'm going to start with Exodus 15, 1, verses 1 and 21. All right? Exodus 15, 1 and 21. And we're going to read quickly, okay? Then sang Moses and the children of Israel this song. This was after they came through the Red Sea. Unto the Lord. And spake, saying, I will sing unto the Lord. For he hath triumphed gloriously. The horse and his rider hath he thrown into the sea. Now verse 21 from that same chapter. And Miriam, who was Moses' sister, by the way, answered them, Sing ye to the Lord, for he hath triumphed gloriously. The horse and his rider hath he thrown into the sea. Pastor, what's yours? Um, 
16, 23 read, percentage. Yes, sir. Read that very loudly. And it came to pa uh, when it came to pass when the evil spirit from God was upon Saul mm -hmm. that David took a harp and played with his hand. So Saul was refreshed and was well, and the evil spirit departed from him. When David worshipped with his harp, when he worshipped God, not the devil, the evil spirit in Saul was cast out. Now. Let, I'm pausing because this is very important before you read your sister. How do I know that that evil spirit, uh, wait, 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 how do I, that's not what I wanted to say. How do I know that David was worshiping God? Now this is going to be tricky. It's not a trick question, but I'm thinking of a, a verse. How do I know that David was worshiping God when he played his harp? And that's why the evil spirit was driven away. How do I know he wasn't worshiping the devil? When he played and the spirit was driven away. Is it when Jesus said you can't... Uh... A house divided against itself will not stand. He said the devil is not going to cast out the devil. Mm -hmm. So if you're doing something for the devil, it's not going to drive the devil out. So if David was playing his harp in the flesh or for the devil, the spirit would not have been driven out of Saul. A house divided against itself, Jesus said, can not stand. He said, uh, Bill, uh, he said, um, yeah, the, the, the devil is not going to cast out the devil. Those are my words, paraphrasing. So that's how I know David was playing in the spirit of God. That's why the evil spirit was driven out. Go ahead, sister. Second Samuel 6, 14. And David danced before the Lord. With all his might. And David was girded with a linen ephod. Yes. He was dancing in celebration. If he was dancing, there was music. So let's see. 15, I'm going to 1 Chronicles 15. I'm going to read verses 14 and six, 14 through 16. Uh, here it is. Let's see. 14. Um, so the priests and the Levites sanctified themselves to bring up the ark of the Lord God of Israel and the children of the Levites bear the ark of God upon their shoulders with the staves, which are staffs, uh, poles thereon, as Moses commanded according to the word of uh, the word of the Lord. And David spake to the chief of the Levites. Now they were carrying the ark of God. He told the chief of the Levites to appoint their brethren to be singers with instruments of music. Psalteries and harps and cymbals sounding by lifting up the voice with joy. He told them as they were parading in, carrying the ark of God, David wanted to celebrate. He said, I want you to get me some singers. Get me a choir together. All right? And I want some instruments. I want cymbals. He said, I want music. I want to worship God while we do this. Now, let me read the next one. I didn't give you... Um, the next one. So I'm going to read from Second Chronicles 5, 12 through 14. Pastor, read Second Chronicles 29, 25. Second Chronicles 29, 25. Sister, yours is Psalms 9 and 2. Psalms 9, 2. Now I've got Second Chronicles 5, 12 through 14. It says this. Don't get bored, y'all. This is exciting. God is about to take, I said he's about to take our worship to another Hallelujah. level. Hallelujah. Praise God. That's why he told me it's time to go ahead and get that keyboard so we can do his business. So I'm at Synchron 5, 12 to 14. Where is it? It's right here. Praise. Yeah, I got that one. Mm -hmm. Henry, you going to read it for me? No? Okay. I guess I have to read it. Is that fourth, uh, 12, 14. Here we go. So it says this. Mm -hmm. And the Levites, which were the singers, <laughs> all of them, I'm going to skip some names here, with their sons and their brethren being arrayed in white linen. God said, I want them to, doesn't that sound like choir robes? <laughs> he said, I want them to dress in white linen, having cymbals and psalteries and harps. They stood at the east end of the altar and with them, 120 priests sounding with trumpets. 120 trumpets, Tolliver. 
I want them to play. It came even to pass as the trumpeters and singers were as one to make one sound to be heard in praising and thanksgiving the Lord. And when they lifted up their voice with the trumpets and cymbals and instruments of music and praised the Lord. Listen what happened when they lifted up their voices saying, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. We just sang that. Then the horse, I'm sorry, then the house, this is what happened when they did that. Then the house was filled with a cloud, even the house of the Lord, so that the priest could not stand to minister by reason of the cloud. For the glory of the Lord had filled the house of God. Did everybody understand what I read? He said, I want you to dress all the singers in white linen. Put them on beautiful, put them in beautiful white robes made of linen. And I want them to sing and worship and praise and play instruments. And I want the priests to, I want 120 priests to blow trumpets. And when they were doing that, guess what? Said the priest couldn't even go into the house of God to do his work. Because the glory of the Lord filled the house. So, all right? Now. Read yours, son, please. Second Chronicles chapter 29, verse 25. And he set the Levites in the house of the Lord with cymbals, with psalteries, and with harps, according to the commandment of David, and of Gad the king seer, and Nathan the prophet. Mm. For, so, for so was the commandment of the Lord by his prophets. Yes. Go ahead, read yours, sister. Psalms 9 and 2. I will be glad and rejoice in thee. I will yes. sing praises to thy name. I will sing praises. O thou most high. Yes. I'm going to read Psalms 33, 2 through 3. It says this. Praise the Lord with harp. Sing unto the Lord. Sing unto him. You know what makes me, this makes me think. I laugh. Some flesh. I'm, I'm not going to say what I just thought of saying because it would be rude. But can somebody explain to me why there are churches that preach that we're not supposed to have musical instruments in the church. I mean, everything we've read so far was musical. God said, I want instruments playing. I'm just, I just thought I'd bring that up. Flesh is... I'm not going to say what flesh is. My son knows my mind. He probably knows what I feel like saying. Like, what are you talking... What? Flesh, oh, it's worse than that. <laughs> Flat, like what are we, <laughs> I don't see, but what what do we huh? no instruments in the church what okay all right all right anyway praise the Lord with harp hmm, an instrument sing unto him with the psaltery and an instrument of ten strings sing unto him a new song play skillfully with a loud noise. Play skillfully. That you know, God loves when He wants us to play beautifully. Yeah, God doesn't want us banging and plunking and messing up. I'm not saying. I know people say, "Well, the Lord, he, you know, God knows your heart." Yes, God knows my heart, but God wants me to practice and play love, play beautifully. Yes, He does. He wants me to do my best. He wants me to play my best. Yes, He does. Don't. God doesn't want us to be lazy. If God called you to play an instrument, if he called you to sing, practice and try to be very, try to be very good. Have a spirit of excellence. All right? And they also said play with a loud noise. All right? Let's read some more because we got a lot to read. All right? So, I'm going to stay with the Psalms. Psalms 40 and 3. Son, prepare for Psalms 47. Verses 1 through 7, all of those. 47, 1 through 7. I'm at 40 and 3. Praise God. 40 and 3 says, And he hath put a new song in my mouth. That means singing. He's put a new song in my mouth. Even praise unto our God. Many shall see it. Devoted Ministry Church, did you hear that? Yes. Said, many shall see it and fear. They're going to begin to worship God, God through your worship. They're going to fear God and shall trust in the Lord. Did y'all hear the purpose of music? Amen. 
And when we worship God in music, when we give God our hearts and our hands and our voices, did you hear what the scripture said will happen? Did it tell her, did it say everybody's going to believe? No, nope. it said many though, many, many. they're going to see it and they're going to be begin to fear God. Hallelujah. They're going to begin to fear God. And it says this, and they also are going to begin to trust in him. Son, read yours. Uh, Psalms chapter 47. Mm -hmm. what was that verse? One one? through seven. All of those. Clap your hands, all ye people. Yes. Shout unto God with the voice of triumph. Yes. For the Lord most high is terrible. Praise He God. is a great king over all the earth. Yes, Lord. He shall subdue the people under us. Yes, And the Lord. nations under our feet. Yes, Lord. He shall choose our inheritance yes. for us. Yes, yes, yes. The excellency of Jacob, whom he loved. Selah. Yes. God, God is gone up with a shout. Yes. The Lord with the sound of a trumpet. Praise sing God. Sing praises to God. Sing praises. Sing praises to Him. Praises unto our King. Sing Pause, praises. son. Don't sing to the devil. Don't sing in flesh. That gives praise to the devil. Sing praises to God. Sing about Him in your song, but not just in the words. Don't just say what He is. Uh -huh. But sing from the heart. Let it be true in your heart. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Go ahead, sir. Praise God. I'm going to sing. sing oh, I forgot. Amen. I'm not preaching. This is about it. Sorry. Let it's me. All right. Keep sing, going. sing praise to sing God. Sing praises to God. <laughs> sing praises. Sing praises unto our king. Sing praises. For God is the king of all the earth. Yes. And sing ye praises with understanding. Yes. Amen. Uh, Brother Jarek. Is the devil the king of all the earth? Who's the king of all the earth? The Lord. the Lord. Jehovah. The Lord. You're right. You're right. He's the king of all the earth. Sister, prepare for Psalms 81, verses 1 through 3. Psalms 81, 1 through 3. But I've got Psalms 71 and 23. Did everybody see what God is preparing us for? Devoted ministry church. Praise God. He's getting us ready for something. Before we get this keyboard in our hands, God wants us to be ready for something. Spiritually. 71.23 says this. My lips shall greatly rejoice when I sing unto thee. When I sing to you, Lord, my lips will greatly rejoice. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise, praise Jehovah. And my soul... Which thou hast redeemed. So you see what's happening there? My my soul that's inside of me is worshiping. And my mouth is worshiping at the same time. Mm. Remember I said that? There are some. They are, they are saying Jesus stuff with their mouths. In songs. And they are playing Jesus songs with their hands. But their soul is not worshiping him. Go ahead. Uh, read your sister. Psalms 81 verse 1 to 3. Sing aloud unto God our strength. Sing yes. aloud unto God our strength. Make a joyful noise unto the God of Jacob. Take a psalms and bring hither the tambourine, mm. timbrel, yes, and, and pleasant harp with the pot of our soul tree. Yes, soul tree. Soul yep, tree. Yep, yep, that's right. Blow up the trumpet. Yes. In the new moon. Yes. In the time appointed yes. on our solemn feast day. Yes. Do you yes, know God it. wants some noise in his house? Yes. Yeah. Psalms 95, 1. Oh, come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Praise God. I'm also going to read Psalms 96 and 1. Son, please prepare for 100. Psalms 100, verses 1 through 5. Psalms 96 and 1 says, Oh, sing unto the Lord a new song. There it is again. Sing unto the Lord all the earth. Sing unto the Lord, bless his name. Show forth his salvation from day to day. Son, read yours, please. Psalm uh, chapter 100, verse 1 through 5. Yeah, that entire psalm. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all yes. his land. Yes. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Yeah, come to him with singing. Come in like we did. Come before his presence with singing. Go ahead, son. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. Yeah. 
It is he that yes. hath made us, and not we, not ourselves. we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. Yes. Be thankful unto him, and yes. bless his name. For the Lord is good, and his mercy is everlasting. Yes. And his truth endureth to all generations. Yes. Psalms 105 and 2. Sing unto him. Sing psalms unto him. Talk ye of all his wondrous works. Um, psalms 150, 1 through 6. I'm going to read that one. Psalms 150, 1 through 6. Here we go. Let's see here. That says, I think I know what that says. We sing this. Here it is. Where is it? Right here. All righty. Mm -hmm. I'm going to read that entire psalm. Praise ye the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. I'm actually not going to read that whole psalm. I want to jump down to where it says, let's see. Yeah, verse 3. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the psaltery and harp. Praise him with the timbrel and dance. Praise him with stringed instruments and organs. Praise him upon the loud cymbals. Praise him upon the high sounding cymbals. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. I also don't get the impression through these verses that you gotta be real quiet in church. Come on now. Shh, you can't Amen. be making all that kind of noise Amen. in church. You gotta be dignified. Mm. Calm down. Calm down. We Man, every verse we read, say, be loud. It said, make a joyful noise yeah. unto the Lord. Clap your hands. Praise him on loud cymbals. Yeah. 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 So now, now that, uh, yeah, I'm not going to go there. That's not in my lesson. Now, I told you there was a surprise in this. In fact, I'm going to skip the next verse because that's a surprise. I'm going to jump to Mark 14, 26. Mark 14, 26. That says this. And when they had sung, this is after the Lord's Supper, after the Last Supper, when they were, Jesus was going to be crucified, okay? And when they had sung and him, they sang together. They went out into the Mount of Olives. Now, remember I said there was a surprise in this lesson? Here it comes. I want everybody to hear this. This this touched my heart. I, I, I feel the Holy Spirit even preparing to say it. Yes. Do you, you remember I said music, you remember I said God loves music? Yes. And we did support that, right? Yes. But I'm going to prove it um, emphatically right now. I'm going to prove it um so there can be no dispute. Nehemiah 12, 27. I'm going to show you how much God loves music. Listen to this. Who Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm, uh, mm, mm, mm. I needed a minute before I read. And at the dedication of the wall of Jerusalem, they sought the Levites out of all their places to bring them to Jerusalem to keep the dedication with gladness, both with thanksgiving and with singing. Wait a minute, let's see. And with singing. Wait now. Let me see. I might be. I, I'm going to listen. Oh, no, no. That's the wrong verse. So that's okay. I'll finish reading that one. Yeah. They were dedicating the temple and they, they were singing together. And with gladness, with thanksgiving, and singing with cymbals and psalteries and harps. Okay? And this, I'm sorry, and the sons of the singers gathered themselves together. And I'm not going to read all of that. So, but listen, let's, now i got to get to that correct verse. It's Zephaniah. Now, that's a tiny, that's a tiny book. So, i got to tease that one out. It's in the middle of the prophets. One of the minor prophets. Zephaniah, we're going to, I'm going to prove to you. That God loves music. And this proof is going to astonish you. I think it will. It astonished me. Zephaniah. Where are you, Zephaniah? Here you are between there. Zephaniah 3.17. Y'all ready? Yes. Everybody listen. The Lord thy God in the midst of thee is mighty. 
He will save. Listen to this. He is talking about God, right? You just heard me say, the Lord, thy God is in the midst of being. He's mighty. He will save. It goes on to say, He will rejoice over thee with joy. He will rest in his love. Listen to this. He will joy over thee with singing. Did you know God sings? Pray, I feel the whole, oh, Jesus. Yes, yes. Where you think we get music from? Yes, yes. It says God is going to rejoice over you with singing. God is going to sing. I forgot, I know I'm not preaching, but do you feel the power of that? God, son, God loves when you sing. And you know what I believe? I believe he sings with you. I believe he actually joins it. I just read it. I just read it, y'all. I'm not making this up. The Bible says God sings. But that makes sense. We were made in his image and in his likeness. He made us to be just like him. Tolliver, God sings. He rejoices over you with singing. Sister, when you sing, when you worship God, I believe he sings with you. God sings. Did everybody just hear me read that? Did I just make it up? It says he will rejoice over you with singing. It didn't say anybody else is going to do any singing. It says he is going to sing. And see, God gave everything of himself. He, he put himself in everything he created. Amen. That's why he gave the angels music. Now let's finish this up. Praise God. Two more verses I'm going to read and we're finished. Music, when it is true worship, as I've described, brings deliverance. Music, when it is true worship, brings deliverance when we worship when we sing in Christ when we play in Christ the spirit of God. listen if God is singing with uh, if God is singing with us the spirit of Christ is singing with us you remember how, how many times I said that this the Holy Spirit sings to me sings songs to me I've been saying that for years I didn't know how accurate I was I thought I was using a figure of speech, really. Actually, I didn't think it was a figure of speech. All those songs that I have, that I've received, I, I always said the Holy Spirit sings songs to me. I don't write songs. But when we sing to God and worship Him in music correctly, it brings deliverance. So let's look at Revelation because there's music in heaven yet. Let's look at Revelation 5 and 8. Two verses in Revelation and we're done. Revelation 5, 8. Praise God. One of these days I might write a song or God is going to give me a song or preach a message when God sings. Man, look at here. All right, okay. And when he had taken the book, the four beasts and four and twenty elders fell down before the Lamb. Praise God. Praise God. They all fell down before the Lamb, having every one of them harps. <laughs> they all had musical instruments. They had harps. And golden vials full of odors. What was that? The odors were sweet smelling odors. What was what was what was what were what were those odors? They are the prayers of the saints. Our prayers go up before God with music. Praise God. That's when we are in Christ, in his spirit, not in the flesh. Revelation 14 verses 2 and 3. Praise God. And I heard a voice from heaven and the voice of many waters. And as the voice of a great thunder, 
And I heard the voice of harpers. Harpers, those who play on harps. What were they doing? They were harping, meaning they were playing their harps. And they sang as it were in heaven now. This is happening in heaven. They sung as it were a new song before the throne. Give me a minute here. I want you to picture yourself from now on when you sing standing before God. Saying, God, I'm singing to you. I have a song for you, Jesus. They were they sung a new song before the throne and before the four beasts and the elders. And no man, listen, and no man could learn that song but the hundred and forty and four thousand which were redeemed from the earth. Now that's referring to something we're not, not going to talk about tonight. Devoted Ministry Church. We're on the precipice of something great. If we can stay out of the flesh and stay in the spirit of God. We're about to have our music worship. Our worship in music is about to go to another level. We're about to start producing that music that God has been giving us. That we haven't been able to sing because we haven't had the music for it. We're going to have it soon. Watch the work of the Holy Spirit in our worship. In this room, everywhere we go and share that music. Those who hear it on Facebook, on YouTube. Those who hear it in Boston, you watch what the Holy Spirit begins to do. In the Bahamas? In the Bahamas, yes. Yeah. All over the world. You're right, sister. All over the world. All over the world. A man, this is, this is fairly close. This is in Georgia. But I got a message from a man in Georgia. I don't, I've never met this man. I didn't know he's been following. Actually, he's been following us devoted before we were at this church when it was just me and the first lady. He said, I've been following y'all for a long time. And I'll share with you later what he said. He sent me a long message. It was a blessing. But my point is, this man is in Georgia and he said he's been following us all along. All over the world. Our messages and now our music is traveling. And if we will hide ourselves in Christ, you watch what the Holy Spirit does. But we've got to be in Him. We can't show off. No showing off, kids. No showing off, adults. No showing off. No look at me. No, wow, did you hear me? Did that run? Did you hear? Man. Did you hear my riffs? None of that. When you stand up before God to sing and to play, I want you to stand in death. In death. I'm going to do the same. I'm going to stand up. I've been doing it all my life. But I'm going to do it more. I'm going deeper now. What I mean in death, I want you to say, Jesus, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead to the flesh. It's all you. I just want to worship you. Yeah, I'm going to practice because I want to I want to sing good. The Bible told us that. Excellence. I read it. I don't want to be out of tune. God doesn't want me out of tune either. I want to play well. I don't want to play clams, as they call it in the music world. Yeah, I want to play well. I want to sound good. I want to look good when I stand up. But I want to be dead to the flesh. And I want to say, Jesus, this is for you. Be glorified. 
So let's stop. Sister, I'm going to ask you if you can. I can't see you behind there. Could you come in close for us, please? Praise God. Hallelujah. I know this was a Bible class, but it was a special. God had us. God is preparing us for something, church. God's preparing us for something. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Right. Praise you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Father, as we heard tonight, God, the teaching, God, music is from you. You created music for you. Father, when we come before you, God, in singing and worship and praise, yes. God, yes. let us come, Father God, not in flesh, God, but in the oh, spirit, yes. God. Father, I just ask, God, that Jesus. each one of us, God, that is in this room, God, tonight, yes. God, because you've, you've given each one of us a gift, God, yes. singing, playing a music instrument, yes. God. Yes. 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 Let us not, like Pastor say, God, look at us, yeah. but let it bring honor and glory to you, Father God. Yes. Jesus, yes. Father, I just thank you for the word tonight. I thank you for the teaching tonight because you are doing something new in devoted ministry, God. That's why we surrender ourselves to you, God. For you to have your way and let your will be done, God. Through us, God, that people will see you and not us, God. That we will bring souls, God, to your kingdom through you, God, through your Holy Spirit, God. Not at look at us. Yes. It's not nothing. We can do, God. Yes. Nothing we can do in this flesh, God, that will bring honor and glory Amen. to you, God. That's right. So help us, God, to walk completely, God, in your spirit, God, yes. the Holy Spirit. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Yes. I pray, God, that this was a blessing yes. to each one of you that are watching tonight. Yes. Let it not, let it not just fall on deaf ears. Yes. The Bible says we must not just be hearers of the word, yes. but be doers also of God's word. Praise God. So I pray that this was a blessing to each one of you tonight. We love you and we praise God for you being here tonight. And may God go with you and be with you always and protect you and your families. Have a wonderful and blessed night in the Lord. Good night, everybody.